I've watched this individual rise up over the last um, two to three years. Um, he's worked in a lot of SaaS company environments, and he's always been known as the individual that leads with opening the most doors. And he is a super. Listen very carefully to what he's saying. Also, um, consider the fact that he is one of the first sales confidence 100 founding members of our learning and development platform. Now, it's not surprising, is it, that he's now up on stage? It's not surprising that he outcompetes most of the people. We look after our members. If you are on here today, speak to one of the team and become one of the very first sales confidence members, and we will look after you 365 days a year. For now, I will pass over to Will Conning, an absolute legend, um, currently the head of sales at Mintigo. Thanks very much, James. Um, hi, guys. Great to be here. And yeah, no, it's great to be um, uh, one of the first members of uh, Sales Confidence. Um, so today, just a bit of a quick intro to myself. I am the head of sales over at a financial well-being company called Mintigo. Um, I, I specialize in working in very early stage tech startups um, in sales. In sales, I'm particularly passionate about two things. Um, one, that's sales development and prospecting, as, as James mentioned. And then the second thing is, is coaching others to be great. And the reason why that is, is, is sales gave me a purpose in life, and I just really want to pay, pay that forward. So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we've been up to at Mintigo with regards to prospecting, um, some of the challenges that we face, and give you some actions that you can actually take away today uh, and do tomorrow, and hopefully get you guys some more pipeline. Uh, so selling financial well-being, we sell into the HR space. Um, anyone that's selling into HR right now will know that they are very much on the front line of the COVID-19 battle in the business side of things, right? So safe to say for us, it's been really tough. Um, before this, our pipeline got decimated. Um, as a seed startup, additional resources is, is always incredibly limited. And all of the usual tactics that we were using are just simply just it was getting nothing. I mean, we were banging our heads against a brick wall. But um, we're very positive. Um, we assessed the situation and we made, um, we, we really decided that we needed to just simply just take matters as sales guys. There's only two of us. We need to take our, our prospecting, our, our demand generation, our marketing, in fact, into our own hands. We need to own it. Right. And that's the theme of my talk. So we did five, five things um, that's made uh, a huge difference. Um, number one is we completely redesigned our business development processes. Um, we took a deeper understanding of the exact challenges our customers are facing from a business and from a personal level, because right now people are feeling this personally. Right. We wrote all our cadences and messaging to align with the current challenges they're facing now. We've increased our social presence 10 times, 10x. Um, and, and very importantly, we gave ourselves time to put this in place. Um, so, yeah, it's probably taken about four weeks to get to where we are <clears throat> since we made these changes. But what I'm really happy to report is that um, since the 1st of May to the 12th of May, we generated 23 sales qualified leads. Um, and I'm sure anyone right now will be absolutely happy with that. I certainly am delighted um, and hopefully we've got a nice pipeline to sell to. So I just want to go into those things in a little bit more detail to give you guys some actions that you can take away. So number one, it's, it's that cadence design. Um, it's all about a process, right? Kind of what Sean was talking about. And for me, processes are so important as a baseline because it allows you to achieve scale. It allows you to build baseline measurements and how, how any more extra work affects those measurements. You can see the effectiveness of, effectiveness of your work. It can see the effectiveness of your messaging. And what it also does is it gives you a lot of data, not only for yourself to improve upon, but it allows you as salespeople to add additional value to the rest of the stakeholders in your business to, to, to show that you are doing something right now to help change the balance of where you are right now. So when it comes to building your cadence, um, I recommend doing two things that's um, that's good for us. So number one, it's to create an automated cadence um, that is industry specific. So I created four cadences um, for four different industries 
Um, I A-B tested everything, um, and it was still about a 1,000 prospects, right? So building that list was a bit of hard work, I will admit. But the idea is that cadences are designed to educate the customer and raise awareness of the Mintigo brand. There's no call to actions. There's nothing like that. Um, but what we did, we put those cadences on our favorite sales engagement tool, and we were able to see who was clicking on those emails. And I put a rule in that said, if you click on that email three times or you open three of the four emails, you, my friend, are a warm lead in our, in our world right now. We then put those warm leads in a, an intensive cold calling or warm calling um, cadence combined with LinkedIn as well. So when we pick up the phone, if we do get their number or they do see the connection crest on LinkedIn, they should know who who um, who Mintigo are. And that has been delivering the business the last few weeks as well. So I highly recommend that process. Um, when it comes to getting to understand the exact challenges of your customer, um, there's so many great resources on there. We should all know how important that is right now. The tip that I wanted to share with you today is to create, curate, and document a library of all that awesome content. You can use a Google Sheet. I've got a template I can send to you. That is an incredibly useful resource for building cadences, for getting to know your, message, your customer better, and for sharing that content to the other people so you come across as that trusted advisor and an industry expert in your area of, um, of your selling. So yeah, really recommend that as a, as a top tip. Um, when it comes to building your, your messaging, right? I, so I build this cadence and I had like four emails going in this cadence and I write very sharp, short to the point and I realized that maybe that tone is wrong. So what I did is I tasked my colleague Ollie to rewrite exactly the same cadence but in his own messaging. So suddenly I've got two cadences saying the same thing but in a different tone. And what I did is I put that into an A-B test. So let's just say 50 emails to one, 50 emails to the other. And I was able to report back on that to see what kind of tone resonates better with my customers. So the next time I do another cadence, I use that tone and I improve my open rate. I imp improve my click rate. I improve my response rate and booking those meetings. So A-B testing, working in pairs, um, is a really, really productive way of um, getting more out of the work that you're doing right now. Um, the, around social media, um, I'm, not a social, I'm not a social media expert compared to some of the people that talk on sales confidence. But what I'd like to do is share two tips that are doing the business for us right now. Um, number one, it's searching industry hashtags. So for us, as a good example, is hashtag wellbeing. Search for that in LinkedIn. And then suddenly all you see is posts that are linked in, um, that are specific to that hashtag. And that's where your customers are commenting too. So that's where you want to be commenting. That's where you want to be getting that engagement from, from there. And we've got at least three or four leads from, from that way as well. Um, it's a great way of raising your brand as well. Um, if you do that two or three times a week, half an hour here, half an hour there, you will see so much out of that. The second tip I have for social is have a killer question that you ask any new connection that is a potential prospect. Um, so for us, the question that we're asking is, hey, Dave, great to connect. Um, what do you think is better, financial well-being or the term money mindfulness? You know, it, it's, it's perfect for us because that's kind of what we're selling. But what it does is it invites the, the prospect to contribute and they, they appreciate that. And that, again, has delivered so many leads for us as well. Um, yeah, really, really useful uh, tip there that um, I wish I knew about two years ago because it really has um, delivered, delivered the leads that we need. Um, on top of that, I think the, the, the giving yourself the time is right now we are in a position, right, where you do have time on your hands. For once, you know, people aren't buying right now. We know that. So you've got time to prepare for this. Not only should you be taking the time to build all these processes out, to take that ownership of those cadences, but what you should also do is take that time to look after yourself, look after your well-being. You are no good to anyone if you are not looking after yourself now because you need to be selling in three to six months' time, right? So really, really look after yourself. Um, nurture your leads. So when the time comes, they know straight to come to you. And, and that's, that's the approach that we're taking. 
Um, so yeah, I think they're the only kind of real tips that I'd like to share today. Um, so just to quickly summarize then, it's kind of, it's all about taking ownership, right? So take ownership of your strategy for BD, take ownership of your messaging, take ownership of your processes, and then take ownership of your well-being as well. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see any of uh, the work that I've done, um, I've got some takeaways for you. So I've got some checklists, I've got some cadence design examples, um, I've got that content library template. Um, I'll ping my details in the chat. Feel free to ping them out to me, um, and then hopefully you can do the work I did in four weeks in, in two. Um, so yeah, cool. that's me. Thank you very much. Um, loads of nuggets of insights in there. Um, please drop your LinkedIn and your email in the chat so everybody can um, send you a message. Um, huge amount of gold. I, I think there's some takeaways even for the sales confidence team. And I love your focus on well-being. You're absolutely right. I think we all need to be looking after ourselves. We can't look after others if we don't look after ourselves. And also, um, you want to sustain. You have to survive this. Something that I took away as an optimist is, you know, I was still holding on to overachieving our company target this year as a CEO. And I had to accept that the gold medal right now is to survive. Yeah. And in your role as an IC, survival might be demonstrating that you're doing activity every day, every week. And you can't question activity, right? It's, it, there are There is flexibility right now on people not hitting targets simply because a lot of industries and companies are frozen. Yeah. Um, so just love the sentiment. We'll bring you back for the Q&A. We're just going to invite our next speaker up. Cheers, guys.